Hey, welcome, Mike McMillan here. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Well, today we're going to look at using how to create and use, implement what we call a Ken Burns effect in your videos. I opened up a new ScreenFlow document right here, and I just want to show you. I'll go to About ScreenFlow. I'm running version 8.2.2, just so you know. Um, older versions will work exactly the same with this effect. So, what I'll do is the very first thing before I create a video, I click on this, it looks like a, a crop tool down here, and it says 1280 by 720. That's the dimensions that I'm using um, to create this video. And then I click on this bar, and if you've got screen flow, I'm sure you know what this does, but you can select different background colors, but I just like to use white. So I'm going to use white, click on the green check mark, and that applies it. Okay. Now over here, these are all our tools. We've got a text tool, we've got a pencil tool we can draw with, but I'm in my media library right there, okay? Hey, this is Mike, just 10 seconds. If you'd like to learn how to get more people watching, get more views, more people watching your videos on YouTube, and how to get your videos to show up higher in the search rankings when people search for keywords important to your video, download my free 24-page ebook that I'm showing right here. Just click on the link in the description below this video. So what I'm going to do is I've got a couple images I got at Canstock Photo just for a couple bucks. and. Uh, I'm going to put those in there so that we can kind of work with the work with these and illustrate the effect. So the first one, I'll drag this. This is the Sphinx, of course, in Giza, uh, Egypt, and I am going to drag this out and make it a little bit, you know, longer, something like this, whatever. And then when I move my scrubber bar over it, this is the image that I have. Now I hit Command minus, Command minus, Command minus, so I can make this smaller. And you can see what I need to do is drag this out so that it covers my work area. Okay, just like that. All right. Um, and I'll click over here just to get rid of the bars around there. So this is my image that I have to work with. So what I'll do is click on the image down here in my timeline and move the scrubber bar all the way back there just like that at the beginning. And then I'm going to come up here to this little icon. It looks like a stopwatch. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Click on this and this lets us create what we call a video action. So I click on this and right now this says the duration is half a second and that's way, way too fast for us. So I'll make this run for 20 seconds. And see when I put the 20 seconds in, it created this yellow area and this is my video action that it's added for me. So the next thing I do is drag my scrubber bar all the way over to the right, okay? And now I can do anything I want to do and it will apply this effect for me. So what I'll do, command minus, let's make this smaller so it shows up better. I'm going to take this and drag the corners so that it gets much, much bigger, okay? And something like this, maybe, that would work. Okay, so I'll click off that, and now I'll hit Command Plus, Command Plus, Command Plus, Command Plus. Okay, and now let's see what happens. Now I'll move my cursor back here in my timeline, and let's let this play and see what happens. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. There, that's my original image. Now see what's happening. It, two things are happening. This image is going off to the left, and it's getting bigger. And this is what we refer to as Ken Burns effect, like a pan and zoom effect, where the image moves left and right, up and down, whichever way you want to make it move, and then it also gets bigger. Or you could take a big image and make it smaller. But what this does is if you're making a, a video about Egyptian history or ancient history or something, rather than put something up here like this as a static shot and just leaving it and talking over it, people get bored looking at the same image all the time. So when you do this, uh, you could be talking over this. It creates the illusion of motion where there is no motion, okay? And it keeps viewers engaged because something's moving, something's going on here, so they want to see what's going to happen. So that's what we call the uh, Ken Burns effect. Now, let's try one other thing. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to shorten it up so that when 
it gets to the end, it stops right there. Okay, and now let's come back up to our media library and take the other image that I have. Okay, and I'll take this other image, and this shows the Sphinx, but it also shows the Great Pyramid here, the tall one at Giza. And um, what I'm probably do here is command minus, command minus, command minus, is I think what I'll do here is, whoops, I need to stretch this out so it completely fills the canvas area to begin with. And then I think what I'll do is stretch this out, stretch it out more, stretch it out more, so that this begins, this video effect that I'll create begins showing the big pyramids here. Okay, and then again, you have to have this clicked on your image here. Come back up and create another video action. And again, I won't make it 20 seconds, let's make it uh, 15 seconds. And here's our video action this yellow area in here. Okay, and so at the beginning, I want this to show at the end of the video action, I want to bring the whole thing in so that you can see the Sphinx and the pyramids, okay, like this. And I think that uh, I might make it something like that, okay? So now when we play this, let's go back to the first, okay? And Command Plus, Command Plus, Command Plus, right there. Okay, this is the previous video action, the first one we had there with the Sphinx. So we'll play this, and here it comes. It's coming into the new one, coming into the new one right there. And it starts out, and they think, okay, that's a pyramid. But as this shrinks down and as it moves over, what happens is that the pyramid shrinks down and then reveals the Sphinx off to the side. So what this does then is doing this, it sort of ties the Sphinx in from the first video part we had back here into the second one that we had over here. And you can see that uh, in the second video action, that's what's going on. So again, the reason you would want to use this is if you have some still shots, or you could even do this with text or anything, um, you can create the illusion of motion where there is really no motion, it's a static picture. Um, so this is a handy tool to use, especially if you want to talk over images. It keeps the viewers engaged because it creates motion. Um, and you can pan across and you can enlarge or decrease the size, reduce the size, and it gives you a little bit of motion in the background of your videos. Okay, well I hope that helps you and uh, yeah, go to it. Give it a try sometime. Um, I think you'll have fun with it. Okay. Take care.